COP is an annual get-together of all of the countries that are signatories to a UN agreement on climate change. This year and last year, the IEA has been co-hosting with the COP presidency a series of high-level energy transition dialogues, also supported by UN Climate Change. These dialogues are intended to bring together leading energy and climate experts in order to build consensus on the key energy-related outcomes and actions that can be part of the final summit outcome. So for the COP presidency, it means that when the summit begins, they're not starting from zero. They already know what the main issues are that the international climate community, that the global energy sector are expecting and want to see delivered at COP. COP28 agreed the need for reaching net zero emissions by 2050 globally, and COP29 is going to help fill in the details of how that can be achieved in the energy sector. We held the first high-level dialogue this year in Paris at the IEA as a chance to kick off the agenda for Baku. Then the second one was held in London, focused on financing the energy transition. We're going to hold another one in New York during the UN General Assembly and another in the autumn in Brazil in conjunction with the G20 energy ministerials you can draw a direct line between the success criteria for COP28 that were discussed in those high-level dialogues to the COP28 action agenda and the final energy outcome in Dubai. And we hope that the series of dialogues this year with the COP29 presidency prove equally effective in driving global climate action.